Let me show you tonight what's being built in Egypt today. I want to show you mind-blowing comments from the Egyptian sheikh who said that Muslims, their financial problems over in Egypt, all stem from the fact that they abandoned jihad. His solution? He's got one. The problem was that they weren't going on raids anymore, and they weren't bringing back prisoners like women and children who could then be sold on an open market like, quote, groceries, end quote. Now... We told you last night that he said, oh, well, I was just taken out of context. Really, was he? He was explaining that he was talking about something perfectly legal in the Koran. Oh. He said he was just talking about the spoils of war. Watch. <laughs> وأختار المرأة اللي أنا تعجبني وأشتري وأشتريها أختار الرجل اللي يعجبني رجل عضلاته والكلام ده وعايز أبني داري عايز أهد عايز أعمل كلام ده بشتري واحد أأجره وأشغله في الشغلة بتاعته وبعدين أبيعه بعد كده. What? It's a legal transaction. What? It's slavery. You just go to the market and buy one. Now this was a clarification of his earlier remarks. But I think it's actually worse than the first one. He's like, no, you don't get it. You go and you buy them. They're yours. It's legal. What? What? Is it just me? What? Let me tell you, it's not legal. It's evil. I don't care what you call it, legal or, or illegal. It's evil. Now, he's not the only one promoting this. This is accepted in many parts in the Middle East by many Islamic extremists. Again, judge them by the fruits of their labors. I want to show you a woman who's been standing up for this and she's been saying, hello, hello, sex slave, she's in Kuwait. Now she's been talking about this for a while. And in this video, I want you to watch, she says that she has talked to some of the most prominent imams in and around Kuwait. Watch her. جسمك كلها إلا وجهها ويدها أما الجارية من السرة وتحت يعني تختلف عن جدا عن الحرة والحرة لازم بعقد زواج وهذا الجارية لا فقط يشتريها وخلاص كأنها يعني تزوجها فتختلف الجارية عن الحرة عن هم كذلك هنا بالكويت سألت ناس مختصين متدينين وهذا فقالوا لي يعني قالوا لي صح مشكلة استغفر الله يا ربي الرجل الملت أو أو رجل على دين يعني مو إلا ملتزم حيل يعني كل رجل سوي بدينه يعني ويكون عنده خير الحل الوحيد إنه لازم يكون عنده يعني يعني إذا لا يريد أن يأتي نساء بالحرام يعني إذا كان يعني مبتلى بالبطنة أن يعني هذا هو الموضوع أن يعني يشتري جواري well, it'd be cool to see the cleric as a televangelist on TV saying, I sinned against you, O oh Allah. I had sex and she wasn't my slave. That would be good, wouldn't it? All right, so let's just recap here. Here's a guy in Egypt saying, hey, what, I'm a cleric? It's legal. We can have sex slaves. That's the way to solve our, our problem with finances. Let's go, and this is what he said in the first one, let's go and attack the West and grab their women and children from America and bring them back over here and sell them into sex slave. That'd be great. Yeah. Then we have this woman who is in Kuwait saying, hey, I've talked to all the biggest imams around, and this is what they're saying. All right. She seems like a nice woman, right? I mean, here she is. She's out there. She's trying to make sure it, do people really believe this. Imagine if you were an activist mom, or your wife, or your girlfriend, or your sister. And she said, hey, I, I can't believe people are really talking about this. She's talking to all the religious leaders, say, M the only way for men to stop having forbidden relations is to have slave girls. You know, the ones who can only be covered from the belly button down. Yeah. I know, even Anthony Weiner's wife wouldn't go for that one. But here's June Cleaver from Kuwait, and here's what she says. Listen now to the rest of her conversation. I really hope that they will 
يعني احنا ما نبي عيالنا يعني يعني يضيعون بالهاوية استغفر الله يا ربي يا الله من صغر كتب اليك بالزنا والقذورات هذه ها انا الدول اللي اشوف انها يعني مثل الشيشان اللي هي بين حرب وبين دوله ثانيه اكيد في 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 اسره فروح اشتروا هذول الاسره يعني مو افضل يذبحهم الجوع هناك روحوا اشتروهم وجسموا شغل هذا وبيعوهم على اللي هني التجار Gee, Wally, Dad and Mom are going to be upset when they find out that you have a slave girl and Dad doesn't have one yet. I mean, is that like every 12-year-old boy's dream come true, Mom, who says, we can't let our kids fall into some sort of fornication. That's why I got my son a new sex slave. Excuse me? This comes back to the spoils of war. If you think that the world is going to continue to rotate and, and we all basically think alike, you are wrong. Hey, slavery is better than getting your head cut off on the battlefield. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, it's the humane thing to do. No, again, I don't think so. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned, but not too old-fashioned like 7th century old-fashioned. Can I ask you a question? As we started looking into this over the last couple of days, I asked my team, has anybody, did, did you guys know this? I mean, that that's the accepted position on slavery by all the scholars and experts on the Koran, and it's kind of the spooky, darker places in the Middle East? I didn't. I knew about the 12th Imam. I could tell you about the 12ers. I could tell you all about it. I could tell you all, all kinds of stuff in the Middle East. Ah, this one? No. Uh-uh. We've been fighting radicalized Islam for a decade. And we, we have something big like this we still have to learn about? Okay. I think we're in trouble. I don't think we really know who these people are. We might want to go slow. Let's not. Why do you say we don't arm them? Let's just keep that between us. Let me ask you this. Where are the voices of condemnation on the increasing bigotry that is on videotape coming out of the Middle East? Like this. الشذوذ تحطيم الشاذ. لهذا أيها الإخوة الشذوذ عقاب القتل. اللواط اللواط اذا ثبت يرمى من 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 مبنى عالي طب انت شو بتعمل فيهم انا انا حقيقه يعني استخسف فيهم الاعدام والله هؤلاء ينبغي في الواقع ان يوضعوا في مكان عام ويجلدوا ويؤذبوا حتى يعني تط... Now may I ask you this question I'm a white Christian Mormon male I mean, I'm in the biggest hate group of all time. White, Christian, Mormon, male. Why is it that it takes me to point this incredible hatred out night after night? Why am I the guy pointing this out? Because I'm supposed to be the crazy bigot. Why, why isn't everybody showing this? Why isn't this news? Why isn't this the battle cry for LGBT groups? How about GLAAD? Glad was Johnny on the spot when Kobe Bryant called a referee a gay slang term. These are religious leaders. They're openly calling for the stoning of homosexuals, and we're helping them. Our president is saying, let's sit down with those guys. What do you say we sit down? Eh. Let's put this into perspective. The world is at a tipping point. The population, the Muslim population, is expected to increase from 1.6 billion people in 2010 to 2.2 billion by 2030. These are the people that are involved in the Arab Spring. They're about to affect the entire world. Before we run to arm, support, or organize them, with these kinds of numbers, maybe we should just pause for a second and try to sort out the good and the evil.
What do you think? Back in a minute.